Hi, I'm James from Good Guitarist. Welcome to another episode of 5 Minute Guitar Lessons. I've gotten a lot of comments about the, um, my, the video that I did on Bob Marley's Three Little Birds and people are asking how I do the intro. So I thought I'd actually take a minute um, to show you guys. First of all, um, it's two things. It's a lick. And it's a rhythm part. Here it is really carefully and slow. First, I think we should practice the lick on its own really slowly. Um, you really want to pay attention to the down and up strokes here. That's really important because later when we add the rhythm part, it has to line up. So let's practice that together now. My metronome is set to 72 beats per minute. One, two, three, four. All right, now that we've practiced the single line part, let's actually try that rhythm bit. And it's actually not that difficult. There is just one thing that you have to pay attention to, and that's making the rhythm bits really short, really choppy. And I'll show you how to do that. First, I'll show you the chord we'll be using. This is an A chord, but it's way up the neck, so the shape is different, and there'll be a bit more on that later. We're gonna be playing the A string open, so we're not gonna touch it, then, we can put our index down, our first finger, down on the ninth fret on the top three strings like that. Afterwards, we can add our ring finger, our third finger, to the eleventh fret of the D string, and then we'll put our middle finger down on the tenth fret of the B string. And when you put it all together, this is the chord you get. And remember to leave that low A string open. When you play the notes, and you release your fingers like that. See how they're still touching the strings? But the string is no longer being pressed down. I'm releasing the pressure from them. And that's how you shorten the note. So here's a long one. And I let it go. All right, now let's practice that together. We're gonna do it four times. One, and two, and three, and four, and... Great, now that we've kind of gotten the prerequisites out of the way, we can play the lick on its own and we can play the rhythm part on its own. We're going to combine it all into um, one big thing and it's a bit tricky if you try to just do it right away. So we're actually going to break it down into four parts that are all pretty easy on their own and then we'll glue them together. So here's the first little bit. So the first part goes like this. We pluck the low A string and then we hit these three strings with a nice short shot. It sounds like this. And this next bit is actually the trickiest of them all, but it's not that bad. Here's how it goes. So that's down, up, down, up. We get all 
all the three strings there, and then we put our pinky there and we do an upstroke. So now that we've gotten those first two bits out of the way, let's put them together. And when we're playing it, we're just going to play them and then we're going to leave the space as if we were playing the whole thing. And we're going to do that four times. Let's give it a shot. We have... Let's try that together slowly. One and two and three and four. All right, this next one is insanely hard. Uh, and all we're doing there is playing these three notes. It's just the top part of that chord and with a nice short hit. And this last little bit. So for that part, we just play these two notes and then once we hold that note, and then we play these two, they're all from the same chord, by the way, and we do a really short hit with those two notes while still holding this note. It can be a bit tricky, and I recommend just doing this to practice. You play this note, So see how I'm just playing that note, making sure it rings, and then letting that chord go really short by letting my fingers off like we already talked about. So the third and fourth part together sound like this. And we're gonna do the same thing. We're just gonna leave a blank space where that first bit went and just play the second half four times. One and two and three and four and All right, now that we've done all the work, it's time to try to put this thing together. Let's try it together four times, really slowly. Here we go. One, and two, and three, and four, and... If you're still having trouble, I've taken the time to tab this out, and you can get this from our website, goodguitarist.com. You can just search up Bob Marley or Three Little Birds. There's also a link in the description, and I encourage you to practice each part of it really, really well before you move on, and then try gluing them together a bit at a time. So try the first and second part together, then the second and third, then the third and fourth then maybe the first, second, and third. And just try to get it in every little way you can. So you're working on it over and over again. And don't be afraid 
to work on that lick, work on the rhythm, break it all down. All the exercises in this video are tabbed out. They're on our website, goodguitarist.com. So go check it out and I'll see you guys next time.